Was it our prejudices that created these narratives? Or is it that these narratives and these shows and films and, and projects keep ingraining these stereotypes back into us? My name is Yasmin Aker. I'm an actress. I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I'm a writer, I'm a filmmaker. I've been on Agent Carter, Grey's Anatomy, CSI. Currently, I play Mona Nazari on FBI on CBS. Acting has served as my lifelong teacher so far. I decided when I was five years old that I'm gonna be an actress. And um, when I was in university, I went to an agency and I just showed up and I was like, okay, I'm ready. And he promptly sent me home. <laughs> and so the lesson I've learned with acting is, you're, I'm gonna hear no. I hear no more than I hear yes. At first I thought it was like, they're saying no to me. Something's wrong with me. They don't like me, that's why they're saying no. And now I get it. I mean, I've been doing it for a while. They're saying no to me the same way that I would say no when I'm casting someone in, in, in my project. They could be amazing, but they're not who I envisioned as the role. For me, sometimes when I hear the no, I'm actually relieved. Because sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't know if I really wanted to do that. Shall I call the sun when I was young? Always reach, reaching for the stars. No, I don't want to line up. No, no, you can never get me. Of course, stereotypes exist in Hollywood. And of course, uh, a lot of people have received the short end of the stick. I mean, we all know who plays terrorists. We all know who plays the thug. We don't even have to say it. We just know who does it. In my career so far, I have seen a lot of changes. So I think that the industry is being very intentional about it and they really are trying to break those stereotypes, but we have a lot of work ahead of us because it's just kind of ingrained. To you, he's a criminal, but to me, he was a husband. He was my salvation. We're actually in post-production right now for uh, the short film, OK. Writing the film was very therapeutic because it allowed me to really kind of parse out what had been happening in my own life. I was co-producing. I had my hand in every pot. I had read the script inside and out. And I was like, yeah, I know this, right? It's not a big deal. I'm just gonna show up on set and live it. Wrong. <laughs> it was really intense. I, I was not prepared for how intense it was going to be to kind of relive those traumas in real time in front of an entire crew, a film crew, my closest friends, and um, just kind of be really raw and open about what's going on in my life. It's basically a film about what happens to us when we don't say no, when we don't honor our truth. We do it all the time. I kind of went through life saying okay to everyone. Anything that anyone asked of me, they received a yes, even when it was a no for me. I'm helping other people when I ought to be helping myself. I was in a marriage that was deeply troubling. There is a huge taboo about divorce in the Middle East. I think in all of the Eastern world, I mean, getting divorced is, it's, it's frowned upon, it's shamed, and it really is the, the, the peak of uh, failure. So I wanted to get a divorce four years prior but when I spoke to my mom about it, she, you know, she told me, don't you dare. That's not, that's not something we do. You don't get divorced. You just, you don't do that. And so I stayed married because I think my own family wasn't really okay with it initially. But now, you know, 
the years have passed, best decision I ever made and they all, they all agree. We're women and we know what's good for us. We don't need someone to tell us what we ought to do, what we ought to wear, what we ought to say, that we have agency. I'm a woman, I can speak up, I can speak out. I know, I know, I know. I'm a woman and I know what's good for me. I really love the process of creating. That's why it's hard for me to even say what it is that I do, because I'm not just an actress. So for me, the urge to create is very fulfilling. Sometimes I create because I want to see the end result, but a lot of times I'm creating because I'm trying to explore a topic or I'm trying to explore a concept or just a question. It's such a powerful experience when I'm writing a poem, a song, or a script. And sometimes just going through the motions is really all that was needed because we're here to evolve. We're not here to just keep feeding the machine.